guys, it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back. I'm finally back here, I'm finally posting a new video, and I'm not saying that I will post like videos every week or something like this, I can promise this, because I don't have a lot of time to be like posting videos, but I'm, I'm trying to post like more frequently, as I used to do, I'm going to post like videos in Portuguese, videos in English and covers so I'm very I'm very excited to be back and to post more videos because in fact I was really missing like doing videos and talk to the camera and it was really very nice but yes I'm back as you guys know we're going to 2017 that's, that's nice because you know I'm I was like tired of 2016 I think you all were because it was such a weird year you know it was I don't know. I decided to do this video talking about like New Year's resolutions and all this stuff and I have some questions here on my computer that I'm going to to answer basically. Okay, the first one is how would you describe 2016? Okay, for me it was like a strange year. It was it was like at the beginning of the year I was I have a lot of hope, you know. And that was going to be like a great year. It was like a roller coaster this year. It started being like really, really great, really great year, and then just wow. Okay, it was a year that you know you think about something that you want to happen, but then in your life just just go to another way, and you just have to handle with this. You just have to handle that. Everything changes, and this year. Was, a, was about changing, you know, for me. It was about like moving on, about saying goodbyes and, and changing. What word would you choose to represent your goals for this upcoming year? Um, ambition? Yes, ambition. Because it's like I know what I want, and to get there, all that I need is my ambition, and that's what I have the most. I really like being ambitious because I think that ambition is like the key. How old? Will you turn in 2017? My birthday is in 17 January and I'm turning 16. Any travel plans? Yes, I am probably going to London again to take like some uh, musical theater classes and I'm going back to London and I'm just like so happy because I love London and I love musical theater so London and musical theater and classes and working and together is amazing. And I really wanted to go back to Amsterdam in 2017. I went to Amsterdam in 2016 and 2015, and and I love Amsterdam. It's like I already feel like Amsterdam is like home to me. I really love there. I really love like the feelings that the city gave me. You know, it's really deep and really happy. And if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Amsterdam, <laughs> probably. Um, yes, I really love. That. I want to go back but another place I really want to meet you know I really want to meet uh, New Zealand if you could change any bad habit what would it be oh my god I want to be less stressed I'm always worrying about everything I'm always like I don't know I'm always too worried and that's not good at all it's really awful because I just can't relax sometimes because I'm I'm thinking a lot and I don't know and I get too stressed too easily and that's not cool what did you learn this year? so it's like I learned basically that in life people go and people come and you know it's like everything is temporary it's like sadness and happiness those are just feelings and and in one day you can be so happy but you won't be happy forever and you won't be sad forever too because everything is like temporary Feelings are temporary, people are temporary, they won't stay like forever in your life. And nothing, nothing lasts forever, you know. Sometimes you just think you have everything because you have one person. And in one day, this person can just leave, can just leave and, and it will be like they're like lost. Because you weren't prepared for this. And you, you just have to know how to handle with this. The world doesn't stop for any of us you can stay like the whole life just missing someone you have to move on and it's like 
Time paces, people go, people come. Moments turn to memories. And you have to take the best memories, you know. You have to remember someone because of the good moments that you have with them, not the bad. And that was basically what I learned this year because it was a year of learning. Next one. The best five moments in 2016. Okay, first one when I went to London, as I said, like five times or something. Okay, then going back to Amsterdam. It was really cool. So sad because I'm missing this place so much. Okay, then uh, meeting Dublin. Uh, it was really nice. I really loved Dublin. Uh, it was really uh, cold there, but it was really cool. Um, and when and going to the um, Game of Thrones tour, it was really nice. Oh my god, it was like they're like, oh my god, Jon Snow was here. Oh my god, Tyrion is here. Oh my god. When I went there, I was on the fourth season. I thought that I would be like a little bit uh, lost in there because I thought they would talk about the the last seasons. There was like King's Land and all this stuff, and for the people who watch Game of Thrones who understand better. Uh, so it was more about the first three seasons, I think. One day, uh, before going to the Game of Thrones tour, I saw an episode, and then in the on the day that we went there, uh, they showed me a place where I was filmed the episode that I saw in the day before of it so it's like I saw it yesterday it was really cool <laughs> I was really really happy there we walked a lot and my sister was always like I hate this I hate Game of Thrones I can't be here and I was like oh my god that's amazing and my father was like okay <laughs> so okay after if the harmony concert was amazing guys amazing it's like I waited like wait a second Three years. <laughs> I waited three years to go to a Fifth Harmony concert. They went to Brazil in 2014, I think, to open the Austin Mahon concert and all this stuff. And I wanted to go. I really wanted to go, but I was going to Buenos Aires and I couldn't. And I was like, I want to stay, mom. I don't want to go to Buenos Aires. I wanted to go to watch Fifth Harmony, and but I, I went to Buenos Aires. But it was cool, anyway. Uh, going to a Fifth Harmony concert was pretty amazing. Really, really amazing. And Camila saw me. I know that she's not on Fifth Harmony anymore, but I don't want to talk about it, really. But Camila saw me. And she saw, she said, because I was with the Brazilian flag, and she was like, Brazil! And I was like, oh my god, she saw me. She saw my flag, but she also saw me, okay? She was... It was really cool. Let's not talk about Fifth Harmony because I have such deep feelings, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, then also uh, going to the I was going to say Belief Tour, but uh, Purpose Tour. Um, it was pretty, pretty cool, pretty amazing. It was really amazing. Uh, I've already seen Justin Bieber two times in Brazil, and going and seeing him again was like. Yes, I really like him. I really appreciate him. He he's such a good guy, you know. And I really like him. And going to the purpose tour was really amazing. I didn't film a lot there because I just wanted to, you know, to be there to to have my moments with him. And you know, but it was really, really beautiful. So the last question is: What is your New Year resolution? Okay, um, the first one is like be more organized. It's like I'm organized with uh, school and all this stuff. And, you know, with this I'm very organized. But but I'm talking about my room. You know, my room is not organized at all. It's a mess. It's always a mess. And I'm happy with my mess. But I can't live like this. You know, when I have my house, I can't have like a messy house. Not at all because I will lose myself in there. It's like, shame on me, how can I have this room, you know? I also want to be closer to my goals, you know? And I want to be less stressed, as I said. I want to sleep more, try to sleep more. It would be cool if I slept. Um, maybe having more free time would be cool, but I prefer working more and having less free time. I also want to help people 
be, and be more kinder and less selfish because sometimes I'm very very selfish and basically those are my new year's resolution I don't know how many time I stayed uh, without some videos and all this stuff but I was really missing doing videos and as I said I will try to post more fr frequently so thank you guys I hope you have such a good year in 2017 Thank you guys so much for watching it. Subscribe on my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And that is it. So thank you guys so much. Bye.